Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zanata, and today I'm going to show you how to properly configure email opt-out and Zoho campaigns in Zoho CRM. Uh, but before I jump into this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below, and let's go ahead and jump into this tip. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in to the best way to set up email opt-out. So essentially, the last thing you want to have happen is someone email, someone opts out from one of your newsletters or something, but they're also a contact in your CRM and they still need to get invoices and various things. Well, unfortunately, the default setup will automatically opt them out from receiving those emails. So let's go ahead and fix that. So the first thing you'll want to do um, now that everyone's on the new sync is go to sync services. And we'll go ahead and check our syncs. Um, we don't have a lead sync set up yet, but that's okay um, because it over arcs here. So what we're going to want to do is go to setup. And here we'll see the email opt out, update opt out. So right now it is um, updating email opt out to Zoho CRM in the CRM. Um, to this email default email opt-out field. Um, so what we're going to want to do is go over to our CRM and we're going to hop on over to settings and then we're going to go to modules and fields. And even though it's in the contacts module, um, just, just a good practice, let's go into the leads module then go to our standard module. And this has to be a checkbox. If it is not a checkbox, it will not be an option inside of um, campaigns. So we'll call this campaigns email opt out. And the reason I did it in the leads module is so when we add our properties, we can also create it for all the other modules. Now it probably won't really apply to accounts and deals, but just in case um, we have it mapped and um, the contact module is the important one here. So I'm we'll done. We're going to go ahead and save. So now when I go ahead to edit this, we can now choose a custom field. And you can turn this off altogether. I wouldn't recommend that, but we should at least map it to our new uh, field we went ahead and mapped. So we will go ahead and map it to this. And if you use other modules, custom modules, you can also apply it to them. Um, and we'll go ahead and save. Uh, short tip this week, but you know, it's a good one. It's an important one because as I mentioned before, the last thing you want to have happen is someone just doesn't want to get your promotions anymore, but you do business with them. And the next thing you know, they're not getting, you know, invoices or other workflows that are triggering um, that pertain to them. I hope you enjoyed this video, and before I go, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on our next tip. Thanks.